The 1888 blizzard, also known as the children's blizzard, um, was January 7th through the 10th. Now, this one hit North and South Dakota and Nebraska a lot harder than it hit Minnesota, but a lot of the same temperature changes that happened out uh, west came to Minnesota. Um, what I found interesting is that meteorology had just kind of started around this point. So they were taking temperatures at set points throughout the day and could track the change in air pressure and temperature as the storm came westward to the Midwest. So I thought that that was pretty cool. Um, they, at this point, um, to let you know that there was a blizzard coming, they put a white flag in the center of the town. So if you work near the center of the town, you weren't going to get that warning system that there was a blizzard coming. So you, first off, you had to pay attention to the center of town, but it was only those really in town and who could get access to the center of the towns that knew that a blizzard was coming. Um, another startling fact, as we have it here, it dropped 18 degrees in three minutes. So it was another mild day. Um, a lot of kids that went to school that morning thought, oh, we'll be fine with just our light jackets, we don't need our scarves or our hats. And they were able to go to school that day in the morning. And it was during the day that the temperature dropped. Um, so most, of the fam most families in the area were affected by this. They also wrote down stories of this. People who weren't writing diaries prior had started writing and recording what had happened. Um, blizzard warnings became more common, and unfortunately, between two and 500 people died during this blizzard. Um, as I said, this was called the Children's Blizzard. There was a book written on this. Um, we sell this one in the gift shop. Um, I read this prior to putting together my presentation, and I'm going to hate to admit this as a historian, but I skipped three <laughs> chapters before getting to the 1888 blizzard. And personally, I'm glad I did, because it was the buildup that lets you get to know these families. And I was already crying at the end of this book. <laughs> because they tell the story so vividly in here that you get invested in these characters, and then they didn't make it home. So yes, this is based on true events, and it was a very tragic time, but I definitely, recommend the book and it is worth a read. Like, yes? If you had up there that it, it was four days long, did it snow for four days? It was more the cold afterwards. So it 40 and then dropped down and it was negative 20 for three days afterwards. So out in the cold, trying to find people didn't always work out. Again, as it's noted here, many of the people or children, especially for the ones that were affected, were not found until spring because the drifts got to be so hot. 